Alright, so in this video we're going to look at linear cost function. Uh, I've got several examples I'm going to work on this linear cost function, so you know, check them all out. Uh, and if you like them, give me, uh, subscribe and give me a like and share the videos. Alright, so let's go ahead and get and take a look at this. So, in a linear cost function, c of x is equal to mx plus b. Okay, so you probably uh, recognize that from y equals mx plus b. Okay, we're just using c of x instead of y to represent the uh, cost function. So here's your cost function c of x equals mx plus b. The marginal cost is m, so the marginal cost is m, which is the slope of the line, and the fixed cost is b. Here's your fixed cost. This is the y intercept of your cost function. All right, so let's look at our first example. I'm, I've got several examples. I'll put them each in their own video. All right, you can just search my channel for uh, linear cost function and they should all pop up. All right, so let's take a look. It says assume that the, that the situation can be expressed as a linear cost function. Find the cost function. All right, so it says the fixed cost is $300, and it says 70 items cost $4,500 to produce. All right, so what we want to do is let's just write down our cost function. So we know C of X is equal to MX plus B. All right, and it tells us that the fixed cost is $300. Well, we know the fixed cost is B. So that tells us that B is equal to 300. And then it tells us that 70 items cost $4,500 to produce. So what does that mean? Well, X X represents the number of items. Okay, so what they're saying is if I take the 70 and I plug it in for X and evaluate this thing, I should get 4,500 as an answer. So if you plug 70 in for X, you should get an answer of 4,500. So that means what? Well, wouldn't that mean that C of 70, see I'm replacing the X with 70, and when I plug the 70 in, I should get 4,500 as an answer. Okay, all right, so now let's take all this information that they gave us and plug it in. So I have C of 70 is M times 70. See, I don't know what M is, but I'm plugging 70 in for X plus B. Well, what's B? B is 300. Okay. And C of 70 is equal to what? 4,500. So look at this. I've got an equation to solve. See, I can solve for M. See, I already know what B is, but I need to know what M is. All right, so that's going to give me what? 70M plus 300 equals 4,500. So then if I subtract 300 to both sides, I get 70M equals 4,200 divide everything by 70 and so that's going to give me M equals, let's see, those go, they're going to be 60. So M is equal to 60. So now, so now that I have M is 60, I know what B is now let's plug those into our cost function. So our cost function 
c of x is equal to m, which I calculated to be 60, times x plus the fixed cost, which is 300. And there's your answer. All right, so I hope this video helped. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.